Former President Donald Trump says he's already made a decision about whether to run again in 2024. He won't say what that decision is, only that his supporters will, quote, be very, very happy. But sources tell CNN that one person who won't be happy if he runs again is the former first lady, Melania Trump. CNN's Kate Bennett joins the panel now with her exclusive reporting. So, Kate, what did you learn? Well, I mean, not unlike 2016, Melania Trump has no intention, really, of joining the campaign or being a prolific presence. Um, and was, I've spoke to people who said that she's not really even interested in being in the White House again, going through being First Lady again. We know she's an extremely private person uh, and that being in the public eye wasn't necessarily something she wanted to do in the first place. She's retreated now uh, back to Mar-a-Lago, being a mom, et cetera. Um, and she really has no interest in helping her husband with his uh, perceived, as we all know, his, his next step political ambitions. We often see politicians say they consulted their spouse before they announced that they're running for office again, certainly if they're running for president. <laughs> right. Sure. Is this not something that a <laughs> no. conversation that's happening? Of course not. I mean, I don't think that's how they operate. You know, people are under the misconception that this is a couple that don't spend time together. They don't talk. It's really not true. They have very independent lives, but they do consult one another. Um, however, Uh, events and rallies. The answer was no so often that people on Trump's campaign just stopped asking her because it was always going to be a no. And we'll see that again this time around. And what has she been doing? Because we haven't really seen her make any public appearances like you would maybe expect a former first lady to do. Right. Very much unlike her predecessors, um, she has not really taken advantage of the breadth and scope of the, the platform that a former first lady has. Many of them are inspired by the work they do in the White House. They can continue doing foundations. Um, you know, Michelle Obama, even Laura Bush. Um, have work to do every day from their time as First Lady. It's been about seven months since she left the White House. She established an office, but there has not been a public event. There has not been an initiative, a platform, um, any of the things we commonly expect to see. That's very typical Melania Trump. Not good or bad. She's just broken the mold. But I do think it is a challenge when you lower that platform for this amazing opportunity you have to influence the world um, with, with messaging. But like her husband, she's an anomaly of American politics. But unlike her husband, you know, he has definitely been out there, very public, giving a lot of interviews. And Molly, his former advisor, Jason Miller, says that he hasn't outright said he's going to run, but he's strongly hinting at it. I would say somewhere between 99 and 100 uh, percent. I think he's definitely running in 2024. I uh, had a good conversation with him last night. I'm going to go see him in another couple of days here. Uh, he has not said the magical words uh, to me, but if you talk to him for a few minutes, it's pretty clear that he's running. Do you think it's clear that the former president is going to run again? I don't. I think that's a different thing than he is running right now. I think it is clear that he is running right now in the sense that he's keeping his hat in the ring. He's trying to keep everybody interested. I mean, it seems very clear that, that his, his need right now is for attention above everything. And so by saying things like that, that they are. I mean, it's clear that his head is still very much in the political process and it, specifically in the presidential campaign. Does that translate to him actually being on the ballot in 2024? I don't think anybody can know that at this point. But it's attention and influence uh, as well, right? right? Because because if he continues to raise money, he continues to have the influence over the Republican field and the Republican Party that he enjoys so much and he's getting his way and steering things at places he wants them to be. And when it comes to that influence, we know that he is getting involved in these congressional races. Even though some Republican leaders want him to stay out of these races, he is still getting in and endorsing people. What are you seeing, and do you think he's going to continue doing that? Right. I, I remember back in CPAC in, like, February, Rick Scott went down there and basically was like, let's stay neutral as much as possible, and here he is with these endorsements. But <laughs> I think what's clear is that... You know, as much as uh, maybe the GOP primaries that we think might be referendums on Trump, maybe Liz Cheney's primary next year, what we see on the ground is race in a purple to trending blue state, that the base of the party is still with Trump. The candidates are still trying to be Trumpy. And the, and the template so for the, for the primary is who is the most like Trump. And so when it comes to those endorsements, I mean, Rick Scott might just have to endure with them for the time being. <laughs> yeah, whether he gets in or not, he is still looming over it all. Exactly.
That's it for Inside Politics Sunday. Join us back here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time and the weekday show as well at noon.